Again, I've been left with some colours from my last pour with some metallics and a few odd colours. I'll explain them as because I've loaded my cup up and then I thought, oh, I have to record it just in case it's an absolute stunner, which I've had a few of those unexpected stunners this week. So I've loaded the cup up. I'll explain the colours as it's colours that I've just used in a previous pour. But I'll explain them. This, this is the Montmartre Metallics and the Montmartre Purple and Red um, that I've just done on a previous pour. So I've got one of these little MDF rounds, which is a round placement that I get from Kmart in Australia. $3. So they're... Somebody explained exactly what MDF is, but all I've... My husband explained, it's, it's just a composite wood. It's basically crushed together wood with glues and blah blah so I don't know the technical not really worried about it but I did get asked it just use this bit of polystyrene so it holds it up a bit closer for you guys to see so I'm just going to do a flip cup pour and if it turns out brilliant then so be it all good so one two three ooh ooh <laughs> kind of always know that some of these pores turn out so gorgeous that you never expect and I don't video them so this is a bit of kind of like a mismatched navy colour that I've just got a bit left off so I'm just going to pour it around the edges just so if this I don't need to stretch this too far so this particular one was with the, uh, all these paints were made up with Montmartre metallics and a couple of Montmartre studio acrylics, but all with Montmartre PVA glue and water as my pouring medium. Um, I will put a description in the drop down box below. I'll put a, um, a link to my suppliers in, if you're living in Australia, but the great thing about using the Montmartre now in my pores, I mean I've still got a lot of global paints to get through that I'd already bought but I like using the Montmartre because they're available worldwide so anybody in the USA or the UK or Europe can actually buy the same paints that I'm using which is very useful because you get so many people disappointed when they can't buy the same brats brand paints as you like I can't buy lots of the lovely American brands that you have just too expensive to get them sent over to me to try so I do with what I can get at the most reasonable cost so I'm gonna burp this one out I think ooh ooh ooh, ooh. Okay, baby, I think you need to come down this way a little. Trying to center it all. So that was the Montmartre Brilliant Red. I had the Montmartre Purple that I uh, deepened with a bit of dark red and dark blue. I have the Montmartre... Um, what else I have? I have months, a bit of Montmartre copper in there that was left at the bottom of my cup. So I just put the leftovers from the previous metallic pour I did into the cup, loaded it up and thought I better video it. Okay. Now when I just did the previous pour on this it uh, celled up straight away which oh I did a swipe so I suppose that was but it is lacing over here sorry I'm probably right out of the frame don't really want to tilt it around too much but maybe I should torch it first oh the metallic silver that's the light one in there I was trying to think I didn't put yeah it's metallic silver in there and there's a bit of metallic bronze and a bit of metallic copper but look at how that red of that Montmartre brilliant red is really gorgeous 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 okay I'm going to not tilt that any further I am going to wave my 
magic wand now if you're using the butane torch like I do you must always have a fire extinguisher or any kind of heat actually if you're using you have a fire extinguisher handy as I've told you before my son's a fireman he bought me the fire extinguisher and showed me how to use it so I'm all ready <laughs> and I hope I never have to use it okay lighting my butane torch I'm going to I know it looks on camera as though I'm hitting the flame but it's not actually the flame it's just waving it over the top I like that purple coming through the red that always looks nice okay it is nice but it's not like getting me all excited and oh it's a corker it's just um it's very pretty so i'd like i like keeping a bit of negative space but if you don't you can always swipe a little over that look at that let you have a little look there it is very pleasant I'm going to allow it to dry obviously and see i just show you what you can do if you don't like the negative space you just use little um, this is my messy little spatula it's a little spatula and just swipe the very tips over be interesting to see and then usually torching it after it, that will bring up cells you can do some wiggly shapes in there do whatever your heart desires that's the thing about it isn't it it's your creative juices you have to fulfill okay Ooh. I want to see if I can pull a bit of that purple through oh, I don't want to Oh, that's quite good. Just see, given a bit of heat where I've swiped, it'll bring some like lacing through, I would think. Yes, so oh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, look at the lacing actually. Look at the lacing that comes up with the fine paint swiped over the top. It's really beautiful lacing there. These cells over here, that's gorgeous. Wow, that's another beautiful... Well, what I will use this for now when it's dry is I will um, get my husband to dr drill a hole through um, and I think I will varnish it. I haven't yet ventured into resin. I think I'll varnish it and I will put get a clock me mechanism and put some dark navy if I can find them numbers but this has got some gorgeous lacing that's the silver bought over that that dark navy color try and give you a close-up you know look oh, oh, oh. yes yeah, it's very it is attractive and I know it will look nice as a clock So yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing and see you again next time. Thank you. Confession, I went and balloon rolled all over it and I really do like it now. <laughs> it's so much, uh, it's just jumping off the canvas. It's so gorgeous. So it's just a little confession that I've had that it is gorgeous and I love it and I thought I'd let you know that I went and balloon kissed it the queen of balloons not queen of dragons queen of balloons